So Nintendo shut down the online servers for the Wii U and 3DS on April 8th, 2024. So you'd think that's the end of enjoying online functionality for games for those consoles, right? But that's not an acceptable answer for the Nintendo hacking community. The wonderful team at Pretendo has worked hard to reverse engineer the original Nintendo servers and host open source replacement servers for many popular games such as Mario Kart 7 and 8, Super Mario Maker, Splatoon, and more. I recommend checking out their homepage to get the latest information on the project, especially to see the status updates on how far along certain games are, as at the time of this video they've captured a good majority of their flagship games, but there's still like some percentages left to go, like certain achievements or certain features of certain games, they're still working to backport onto their version of the servers. And of course you can always donate to the project to help keep that team motivated in bringing the online function for these games back to life. But how can we connect to these servers to remind the world how decent we are at Mario Kart 8 non-deluxe? To connect to 3DS, it'll need to be soft modded. For the Wii U, it's ideal that it's soft modded, but there is a non-soft mod option available that we'll cover as well. Check out last week's video, by the way, to see how to soft mod your Wii U using the latest aroma environment, which you will need to be able to connect to Pretendo. And let me know in the comments if you want a fresh guide for how to soft mod your 3DS. First, let's talk about how to connect your unmodded Wii U to the Pretendo network, which will enable a good amount of the functionality that the Pretendo network provides. To set it up is quite simple. You're gonna go to your system settings, then internet, connect to the internet, choose one of your network connections, ideally the one that you're currently using, open DNS, select don't auto obtain, and enter the IP address shown on the screen as the primary DNS, and as your secondary DNS, you can choose public DNS provider, such as Google's 8.8.8.8, or 1.1.1 for Cloudflare DNS. Go ahead and hit save, back out of that, and that's pretty much all the actual setup that's needed to use the hackless option for connecting to the Pretendo network. Once that's done, you can go to the Pretendo website to create your Pretendo network ID, which is Pretendo's version of your Nintendo network ID, which if you're familiar from however long ago you set up your Wii U, that's the network connected account that represents your user that you click when you open up the Wii U. Essentially, you're just gonna go to your me in the top left, choose add new user, punch in the Pretendo network ID credentials you created on their website or register a new one right from the Wii U, which it should support while using the hackless option. And it'll sign you in just like you were using a regular Nintendo account back in the day. Once you're set up with that new account, you should be able to fire up games like Mario Kart 8 to rank as high as you can on the global leaderboards. It can be a little hit and miss on who's in the lobbies as obviously these are now older versions of games, so they won't have the largest online player base, but I did manage to get matched with a group of people from time to time when I tried it out. So it is possible to be selective with when you try to join, but you should be able to find some people to play with and have fun online. By the way, if you want to disconnect from the Pretendo network using the non-hack option, you can just go back to your DNS settings and either remove the Pretendo primary DNS setting that you added or just switch it back to auto-obtain and then save and back out and uh, flip back over to your Nintendo ID that you would sign in with normally. Now for our soft modders out there. First, we'll start with the Wii U and I do recommend checking the Pretendo.network setup steps as that will have the latest recommended way to set it up for your console. But in my case, it was super easy because if you watched last week's video about soft modding the Wii U, we installed the Homebrew App Store, and from there you can easily install the NK app, which is the Wii U app that facilitates connecting you to the Pretendo network via the Aroma environment. Once you install that, you're going to close out of the Homebrew App Store, and if you see in the top left corner the message connected to Pretendo network, then you're good to go. If not, I recommend fully rebooting the Wii U system, and then on boot you should see that pop up in the top left corner. Once you do that, you can just switch users like we talked about before for the hackless method, and just sign in to your Pretendo ID that you made on their website or via the Wii U console directly. And once you're signed in, you should be able to log on to online games that Pretendo supports and have at her. While testing Mario Kart 8, I did not notice any difference from how it used to play on the Nintendo servers, so they've done a really great job at recreating what was there before. On to the 3DS. So again, for this to work, you'll need a soft modded 3DS. And again, if you want a fresh tutorial for how to set that up, let me know in the comments. But essentially, you'll need the latest version of Luma 3DS, which at the time of this video is version 13. My 3DS only had version 10, so I did have to go ahead and update it, which is just good practice anyway. And while I was doing that, I also updated to the latest version of Boot 9 Strap. If you're uncertain and need to update your 3DS as well, I highly recommend going to 3ds.hacks.guide, which should have the latest recommended steps to do so. From there, we need to download an app called Nimbus, which the Pretendo documentation shows where you can download those directly to your SD card. However, if you have the Universal Updater app, you can just log on to there and download it directly to your 3DS without having to shuffle zip files around. And you 
you can go ahead and fire up the app, but likely when you do so, you're gonna see a message that says to turn on a couple of settings in the Luma 3DS configurator, which can only be accessed while the 3DS boots. If you don't see that message, then you can skip forward by about a minute. But if you do see that message, you'll want to shut down your 3DS and then turn it on while holding the select key. From there, you're gonna be popped into a menu that has a bunch of checkboxes, and you're gonna to wanna to hover over enable loading external firms and modules and press A to check it, and hover over enable game patching and press A to check it, then start to save and continue with those changes. Now with those Luma patches turned on and your 3DS updated to the latest version 13 of Luma, we can now go back to Nimbus and you'll be presented with a choice between Nintendo Online and Pretendo Online, which what it's doing is it's actually using some secret backend accounts on the 3DS that were only really used for development. But from here, you can simply just choose Pretendo and then close out of the app. And from there, you're free to hop into the game you want. Funny enough, you actually don't need to sign into your Pretendo ID on the 3DS once you follow these steps as apparently not a lot of 3DS games were too picky what your Nintendo ID was. I tested this out and sure enough, I was able to hop onto Mario Maker 3DS and download courses and play them just fine. And I'm not complaining, I got to skip a step. It should also be noted that if you check the pretendo.network website, you'll see there are steps for the Simu and Citra emulators as well, assuming those emulators are still online at the time of this recording, so that you can play games online using those emulators as well, which is a really cool value add. I'm really grateful to the Pretendo team for putting in all the hard work to recreate this experience, which will not only help in the game preservation effort, but also just allow us to continue to enjoy these games as they were originally intended. Plus, not everyone is able to stay very current with their console and game selection, so for those still holding strong on Mario Kart 8 non-deluxe, Congrats, you're covered. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to see anything else related to the Wii U or 3DS or really any console doing something it isn't supposed to do. Subscribe to help out the channel, and we'll see you next week.